day everyone so this is your subject solid mensuration so this is just an introduction uh, for this subject so you should be familiar with the point lines angles and perpendicular lines so plane geometry is the study of geometric figures that can be drawn on a two-dimensional surface called plane figures that line on a plane are called two-dimensional figures or simply plane figures. A point which is represented by a dot has a location but not size. That is, a point has no dimension. An uppercase italic letter is used to name a given point as shown in the given figure. You have points A, B, and point C. There is simply no dimension but it has its all its location a line is an infinite set of points given any two points on the line there is uh, always a point that lies between them on that line lines have a quality of straightness that is not defined but simply assumed you have here lines a b and if we have points such as a x and b are on the same line they are called or they are said to be collinear line segment is a part of a line it consists of two distinct points on the line and all points between them shown in the given figure you have line segment b c let's talk about angles so an angle is, a, is the union of two rays that share a common endpoint. The measure of an angle is a unique positive number. As shown in the given figure, angle A or angle 1 can also be called as angle A, B, and C. And it is always a positive, unique number. So there are different types of angles. One of them is an acute angle. So that is an angle whose measure is less than 90 degrees. If the angle's measure is exactly 90 degrees, the angle is said to be a right angle. If the angle's measure is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees, the angle is called an obtuse angle. An angle whose measure is exactly 180 degrees is straight angle. Alternatively, a straight angle is one whose sides form opposite rays or simply a straight line. A reflex angle is one whose measure is between 180 degrees and 360 degrees. So these are the different types of angles. You have acute angle, right angle, obtuse angle, straight angle, and reflex angle. Two angles are adjacent if they have a common vertex and a common side between them. You have here adjacent angles which are angles A, B, D and angle P, B, D or D, B, C. Congruent angles are two angles with same measure. Shown in the given figure, these two angles are said to be congruent if angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Let's have an example. If you have angle 1 measures 45 degrees, we could say that these two angles are congruent if angle 2 is also 45 degrees. The bisector of an angle is the ray that separates the given angle into two congruent angles. As shown in the given figure, angle M and Q, it is bisected by the angle bisector or bisector of an angle uh, with the given ray N and P. So angle M and P and angle P and Q are said to be congruent if they have equal angle and if the line Segment NP is called uh, the bisector of an angle. 
two angles are complementary if the sum of their measures is 90 degrees. So each angle in the pair is known as the complement of the other angle. Similarly, with the two angles are supplementary if the sum of their measures is 180 degrees. So each angle in the pair is known as the supplement of the other angle. So you have here the complementary angle and the supplementary angle. When two straight lines intersect, the pairs of non-adjacent angles in opposite positions are known as vertical angles. As shown in the given figure, angle 5 and angle 6 are angles that are in opposite position. They are called vertical angles. Similarly, with angle 7 and angle 8, they are called vertical angles. Let's talk about perpendicular lines. Informally, a vertical line is one that extends up and down like a flag flagpole. On the other hand, a line that extends left to right is horizontal. In this given figure, L is vertical and J is horizontal. Where lines L and J intersect, they appear to form uh, angles of equal measure. Perpendicular lines are two lines that meet to form congruent adjacent angles. If two lines are perpendicular, then they meet to form right angles. If two lines intersect, then the vertical angles formed are congruent. If these two lines are perpendicular to each other. So you have your summary for these topics is um, you have the definition of point, angles, line, and uh, types of angles, and also the perpendicular line. So our next topic is more on naming, so naming of polygons.